Have you been to a meeting where, you know, 10 minutes into the meeting, you think to yourself, this could have been an email or it could have been a screen recording uh, that shared, say, you know, a couple things and then that's it instead of, you know, going or logging onto Zoom and walking through a couple different things. So there, there is a tool that will make your life a whole lot easier. And I'm going to walk you through that tool and how you can share ideas or share feedback using that tool pretty quickly. And we'll do that next. My name is Jeff Bat with Learning Dojo. If you haven't checked out my website already, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja. You can check out previous blog posts with tips and tricks all about learning development. You can also download templates on Storyline and XAPI as well. And you can check out full courses on Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Articulate Rise, SCORM, and then HTML5 Video. Today we're going to focus more on sharing ideas. So let's say you're working in a project and I'm going to pull up this sample project of Cooking 101 and you wanted to share some information about this project. Instead of having to call a meeting or having to say, hey, this is what I'm seeing on my desktop and the person saying, I don't see it on my desktop, you can actually capture what you're seeing using Dropbox Capture. Now you do have to have at least a free Dropbox account in order for this to work. And then you just basically, you can even just Google search Dropbox Capture. And this I think is dropbox.com slash capture is how you can get to it. And you can download it for a Mac or a PC. Now once you've downloaded it and installed it, it then becomes an icon on your desktop there. Now with Capture, you can take a screenshot You can take a screen recording, a screen recording and your camera so you can uh, actually, they can see you walking through this. And then if you click on show more, you can do a GIF or just a simple audio recording or just take a a camera shot. It's like a photo with your camera there. I'm going to go ahead and do screen recording with camera. That way I can just, you know, walk through and they can see my facial expressions. They can see everything there and I'm going to tell them some things that I'm finding with this course. Now you could also with the three dots here go into preferences and this is where you can choose what microphone you want to use if you have a good microphone, uh, what the video quality is, do you want it to be 1080p, 4K as well, and then theme if you want it to be light or dark you can do that as well. And then choose what camera you're going to be using. And then come into shortcuts if you wanted to do adjust the shortcuts so you can do a quick shortcuts for a screenshot, a screen recording, or a screen recording and camera if you want to share your thoughts real quick. So those are your preferences and you can come in and adjust those preferences. But I'm going to come into the screen recording and camera here. And it may ask you for the first time if you wanted to use your microphone, you click OK. Do you allow it to use your camera? You click OK. And then you click Allow. Now I'm going to open up the system preferences here and then I'm going to make sure that I enable it. So on a Mac, I'll have to enter in my password. It'll reopen basically. It has to close out and then it has to reopen. So just a couple settings that you have to do in order for this to work, but that's only one time. Now every time you do it, it's going to go ahead and do and just basically have that ready to go. So I'm going to click on screen recording and camera and then I have to drag out the area that I'm talking about. I just hit escape because I need to go to my course. I want to describe, you know, what I'm seeing in this course here, this cooking 101 course. And one of the problems is um, I'm going to go to the next page here and I can see there's some references here uh, and the references is just going to kind of a blank page. So I'm going to describe that a little bit of what I'm seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on capture and then screen recording and camera. And then I'm going to drag out the area that I want. So that will be my course here. And then you can see the camera right here. Now the camera, I don't have plugged into this camera. I actually have plugged into this camera. And so it's going to just create a circle for me automatically. And then I can hit start. But notice that I only have five minutes uh, to record this. And then I can mute myself if I wanted to. But it's trying to keep the videos as simple as possible. You're just sharing a quick idea or something that you found. So I'm going to click on record. And it will start to count down as I'm recording here. And it lets me know that I only have five minutes. Now, I could pause this if I needed to, or I can actually click on this draw and say, hey, look right here. 
It's not going to do anything with the course. It's not going to you know, add more specific things to it. It's just going to do it for this recording. So it's a great for, way for me just to kind of go in and it, you can see that it fades out after a little while. Now I'm going to just click that off right here. And then I'm going to go through the course and say, hey, this looks great, but I'm seeing this references right here and it's really not built out here. So we need to go ahead and let's let's have something here. Let's have something here. Let's have the navigation. And you can see what you're describing here right with this uh, Dropbox capture. So I'm going to hit stop right now. And then it says copy to clipboard. What does that mean? Well, if I go ahead and I open up a new tab in my browser and I just hit paste, it basically creates a link for me to send out to people. And it may take a little while depending on the length, you know, if it's a full five minutes or not. But you can see here, it basically has a link that I can send out to anybody. So I can post it on Teams. I can post it, um, you know, if you're using Slack or something like that. And then somebody will come here. They just hit play. As I'm recording here. So it hasn't fully rendered. That's why you see it kind of pixelated. Give it a couple minutes and it will render and it won't be as pixelated there. But you can share an idea without having to call a meeting and say, hey, this is what's going on. Um, or you can capture a screenshot. And on that screenshot, if you go ahead and click on that screenshot here, you can go into the marker and you can just drag out areas. Let's change this to red, saying we need to change this. You can have little highlights as well. You can have text saying we need to change that, and then you can hit save, and you can just save it that way. So this is just a simple video recorder, but the fact that you can just, after you're done recording, just hit copy and paste out the link, this makes it so much quicker than having to edit and then publish something out and then, and then upload it and then share the link at this point. So it's just a quick, easy tool if you're already using Dropbox to be able to enable and share out your ideas without having to call meetings. And Let's be honest, let's have less meetings and let's have more just sharing ideas like this. But hopefully that was useful for you. If you want to check out more of my training, go to learningdojo.ninja. You can check out all my previous blog posts with my tips and tricks. You can also download templates, Storyline templates, as well as XAPI templates, and then take full courses on Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Articulate Rise, Custom Scorm as well. Hopefully that was useful for you, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.